Hello, it's Keith here, and this is lesson three of the so-called simple series of my MIPS assembly programming tutorials. In the simple series, we create a, an example each time. It's a single self-contained program that will do a simple job. And today's simple job is we are going to show a bitmap on the PlayStation. So here is our um, Chibico mascot. You can see it at the bottom of the screen here as well. It's the mascot for my tutorials and my website. So we're going to draw this character to the screen on the PlayStation. OK, that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go over to our code and let's look at how we're actually doing it. So this is the file we're running today, PSX bitmap. So basically, we're going to go through all of the code today. And the first thing we're doing here is we're creating a prog.bin. The base of the program is this memory address here. And we're defining that as the origin here. Now, if you need to know how to compile the file, please take a look at my previous episode. I did an episode on the Hello World, and I showed how to assemble it there. We're not going to cover that in this one. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to set up the screen. So we're loading this 16-bit value here into the upper immediate of A0. So that's the immediate value we're loading into the top half of A0. That is the base of the I.O. registers. And so we're going to use some offsets to that to set the, up the graphics and do things like that. And the first thing we're doing is we're setting up the screen. And we've got a, a variety of very weird and wonderful values here. Basically, we're writing all of these. And all this does is it sets up the screen to 320 by 240 at 16 bits per pixel. So that's two bytes per pixel. Of course, we need to know that when we're sending data to that uh, hardware. Otherwise, we won't send it in the right format. Now, the next thing we're doing is we're setting up what is referred to as a, um, a window, I believe. And basically, we're just setting the entire screen as the drawing area. So we're setting the top left corner 0, 0, all the way up there. And we're setting the width as 320 by 240. Yep. So that's what these are doing here. So that's um, specifying the top left 0, 0, and that's the bottom right here. And so we're set those are just sort of fixed values that we just need to get to set up our screen. OK. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually do the drawing jobs to get our example running. Now, when we're actually clearing the screen, so we're clearing the screen. This time, we're clearing it black. Basically, this top byte here, this 02, this is the command byte. So 02 is the command for fill. That's the fill area command. The remaining bytes are the blue, green, and red components. And so in this case, we're filling it to black. But we could change these if you wanted to fill it purple or something strange. You could do that. And then we're running the clear screen command, which we'll look at in just a moment. The only other thing we're doing is we're running the draw bitmap command, which is showing our Chibico character. Um, basically, we're specifying an X and a Y position. I've put some weird values here just to test that it really works. We're specifying the width and the height, 48 pixels by 48 pixels. And we're specifying the source bitmap, which is called imaginatively bitmap. And then we're running the draw bitmap routine. Once we've done that, we've got an infinite loop, which just locks up the machine. We're done. We're just waiting for the user to close the emulator. OK. So how do we clear the screen? Well, um, we need to use the I.O. registers. Um, we can't actually access the VRAM of the PlayStation directly. We have to tell the uh, graphics hardware to do things for us. So when we want to clear the screen, we have to tell the, the, the hardware the range that we want to clear. And so we want to clear from 0, 0, basically the top 16-bit value there is the Y position. The bottom 16-bit value is the X position, 0, 0. Now, um, I believe, actually, I guess the way that the memory is laid out in video memory, this fill command always works in an off from a base offset that is a multiple of 16. So if you try to like clear from pixel 3 across, it won't actually clear from pixel 3 across. Um, I found that out when I was doing another example. So just something you might need to keep an eye out for if you try and use this for clearing irregular areas. But anyway, and then we specify the width and the height here. So we're specifying a width and a height here of 239 by 319, which is the fill area. The height is the top 16-bit value and the width is the bottom one. Once we've sent all of those, the clear actually occurs straight away. So we can just return to our return address there. So that's clearing the screen. Um, what about drawing our bitmap? Well, we're going to draw our bitmap to the screen. And we've got a bitmap file here. And the bitmap needs to be in the correct format. And the correct format is a little endian, um, two bytes per um, pixel. And the, we've got a, an unused bit. And then we've got five blue bits, five green bits, and five red bits. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, if only some eloquent, intelligent, and highly attractive person would make an, a program for you to actually create the files for you. Well, unfortunately, they haven't. But I have. And so you can use my Acrosprite editor, which is free and open source. And it exports for every single tutorial I've ever made and everything else I've ever made, really, at this point. So you can load your bitmap in here. And if you want to output for today's tutorial, you use the MIPS option. You select PlayStation. And it's this Save Raw Bitmap option that will output in the format for today's tutorial. I know it does, because that's how I made the file for today's tutorial. So if it doesn't work, 
it must have gone wrong in the meantime. Okay, so that's what we're going to use as our source bitmap. Now, our draw bitmap routine is going to basically use a GPU command, command A0, which is called send image to frame buffer, and that is going to send the bitmap to the hardware. Now, if you've seen the Hello World example, you'll recognize this because we used it before. Now, last time we were only using it for an 8x8 size, and this time we're actually going to use it for any size, so the, the, the code's a little bit different, um, but not, not too much, though. So first of all, we're going to specify the X and Y position. Now, our X and Y position were specified in pixels. And so basically, what we need to do is we need to move the Y position into the top half. And we do that by shifting it 16 bits to the left, then adding the X position and transferring that to the GPU port there. So that's what we've done there. We're then going to basically do the same with the height and the width. So we're taking the height, multi shifting it uh, 16 bits to the left, and adding the width there, and we're sending that as well. So, so that's the height and the width sent in the next 32-bit value. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to send our data to the actual hardware. So what we're going to do is basically send um, two pixels per transfer. And so we're going to send that pixel data to the hardware here. Now, basically what we're going to do is we're going to load the words in and then we're going to send them to the hardware here. So what we'll do is, so what we need to do is we need to calculate the number of words we actually want to send. So uh, rather than the number of pixels across, we need to calculate the words across. And so we're effectively dividing the width in pixels by two here and then multiplying it by the height. And this is giving us the number of words we need to send. And then what we're doing here is we're sending all of that word data to the screen here. So what we're doing is we're reading in a word here from the source bitmap. We are moving the source bitmap across four bytes and we're storing that word to the video hardware there. And we're just repeating until all of the bytes have been sent. So that's what we're doing. So sending the bitmap to the screen. We're sending it to the screen each time. Now, this isn't really a very advanced example of using the PlayStation hardware. Obviously, the PlayStation hardware is a 3D display. I'm fully aware of that. This is just a very simple example just to get you started. Um, really, I'm an 8-bit programmer. I never really imagined going into anything even as far as 32 bits. So um, you know, these 3D systems are completely alien to me and far beyond what I've imagined covering in these tutorials. So we're only ever going to look at them in a very basic level just as a sort of introduction to get you started. If you are interested in 3D graphics, good luck to you. However, I'm afraid it's out of the scope of what I can cover on this channel. It's only a small channel and as I say, its focus is 8-bit systems. So that's all we'll be doing. Anyway, um, if you've liked what you've seen, please like and subscribe because next time we're going to be looking at the joystick on the PlayStation. We're going to learn how to read the joystick and later on we're going to update this example and move the character around the screen. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.